Hey and welcome to another episode of Back From The Future where we like to talk about technology from the past, present and future. Now today we're going to be talking about this Wi-Fi adapter, the TP-Link TLWN822N. Now I've covered a few Wi-Fi adapters on this channel, uh, the TP-Link TLWN823N, um, which I'll leave a link in the description. And also the dual channel Archer T2U Nano. And uh, today, so today we're going to be d uh, doing a review on this lovely little baby. And uh, one thing I'd like to say about uh, TP-Link's item, um, these Wi-Fi adapters that I've uh, done reviews of, is that uh, they're all Mac compatible. So if you want to use a Wi-Fi adapter for your Mac, uh, certainly uh, the ones to consider are from TP-Link. Now also, uh, if you're building a Hackintosh, that can be a great uh, advantage as well. This is the brand to use. Now let's get the show on the road and start unboxing this lovely baby. Right, okay, when we open this, we get the Wi-Fi adapter. Now, it's the dimensions are not that far off a credit card. You can see it's not far off at all. It's just uh, lengthwise and heightwise, not far off, but obviously widthwise is a little bit different. And uh, you get these lovely little antennas that look like dog ears or bunny ears, whichever way you want to look at it. Uh, also, um, you get a WPS button and you get this lovely little uh, green LED indicator that uh, flashes to let you know that it's working always useful right okay now i'm going to show you oh, also when you take the cover off what else do you see in the box uh you get a usb cable and oh one thing i meant forgot to mention was these wi-fi adapters from tv link takes a mini usb cable now it's a good thing they went with the mini Otherwise, because the micro, I think the micro cables are just too flimsy and they don't offer a solid enough connection um, like the minis do. And um, so you get the regular USB to mini adapter cable. And this cable is about a meter, 1.2 meters. Uh, you also get a little manual. And... You also get a driver disc, and should, so it should have the Windows drivers. I think they have Windows 7 and also the Mac drivers on the disc as well. Now, it is so simple to set this up. It is on, it's practically idiot proof. And I'm going to show you how idiot proof this is by me getting my PC over here, my little dinosaur of a laptop. Now, this. Elite book dates back to probably I think uh, 2011, but it's got Windows 10 running on it, and uh, I'm gonna hook this up now. Bingo! You can hear it connecting, and also you can see the green LED light is uh, flashing away. Right, that tells you it's working. Now this is running off the standard Windows 10 drivers that are already built into Windows 10. I've not even used the TP-Link ones. And uh, as you can see, it's all up and running and everything. Everything seems to be working fine. Now, what I'm gonna say to you is, with this laptop, when I'm using it in my living room where the router is, uh, my internet is 60 megs a second. Now, when I plug this little baby in, I get 60 megs a second. Now, when I'm in this room here, where my studio is, when I use a laptop on its own, I am not getting any connectivity. When I put the TP-Link adapter here, I get about 10 megs a second. Now, when I move this, because it's got a cable, I can drag it along and leave it near the door, I get 20 megs a second, which is decent for streaming and so forth, watching a few videos and stuff. Nothing, not any good for downloading or any, or 
anything like that or even uploading YouTube videos is simply not fast enough. If I wanted extra, extra power, I'd probably have to get a, I mean, I don't want to run an ethernet cable from here all the way into the living room, which is about 13 meters away, plus there's two door, a corridor and two doors to get through. So what I'd probably use is a power line adapter, a pa sorry, a Wi-Fi power line adapter, then I could use this and I'd probably get more uh, signal. So, you know, what do I think of this product? I think it, for the money, it costs about um, 15 pounds UK, which is equivalent to $15 in the US. Good budget Wi-Fi adapter. If you don't mind having a cable um, and where your internet is weak, I don't see anything wrong with it. Now, one thing I was going to say to you is if you've got like Windows 7, I will show you a quick video on how to install this product with, uh, if you want to use the drivers that come with the disc. Okay, on the desktop, we're going to click on my computer or my PC and we're going to go to the CD drive and we're going to install driver for the USB Wi-Fi stick. And then uh, do you want this app to make changes to our PC? Of course we do. So we click that. We just go through the menu and just go next. And then we'll click on the install uh, Wi-Fi configuration and driver, but you can just select a uh, driver if you want. But I'm just doing it so you can see the, uh, the utility for the Wi-Fi driver itself. Finish and exit. Yes, do we want to quit? Yes, just close down all the other boxes and then you can see the TP-Link uh, utility. And you can see on the status, all the details there, WPS, you could actually uh, invoke the WPS protocol from the software itself, not just necessarily from the dongle itself. You can see all the wireless networks that are available. You can look at the profile and you can go into advanced system settings. And then you can minimize or close the utility as you wish. Is It has a WPS function on it. So if you go to your router and you press the WPS button on there and then the WPS button on your Wi-Fi, the two should automatically start talking to each other without having to put a password code in, which is absolutely brilliant. Right, I think about that wraps it up. Um, brilliant, I can recommend it. If you don't mind uh, having a um, Wi-Fi adapter, I mean, to be honest, this is better suited to a desktop. One other thing I was going to say is um, you'll have different experiences with different computers. I've actually, my desktop is actually uh, got a Xeon press processor with a Chinese motherboard. And these uh, budget Chinese motherboards, they're a little bit ropey. And I found that although my internet connection is 60 megs a second, with this adapter, I was only getting 40 megs a second. Now that could be due to the inherent issues within the motherboard. I don't think it has anything to do with this product. And it is a good quality, uh, cheap, low budget uh, product. Uh, you know, I'll be honest, I'll be, I'll be straight. I think it's really good for the money. So bear that in mind, you may get different uh, experiences with different computers, but on a whole, I can't recommend this enough. And hopefully what I'll be doing is a showdown between a couple of TP-Link adapters. So I'll be bringing a video out where I um, compare the TLWN8228N alongside the TLWN823N and the Archer T2 Nano to get your opinion or my opinion on uh, the strengths and the weaknesses of all of these uh, wireless adapters. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to join me on Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter. Please like and uh, if you subscribe, press, press the bell notification button and please leave comments or uh, if you've got any suggestions as well for the channel or what you, you want me to review, I'll do that. And hopefully guys and girls, I'll see you guys in the future if there is one.